this video is not for little piss babies, okay? Uh, there's going to be some hot takes, so I need you to put your big boy pants on, go grab your tissues, and just get ready. Uh, we're starting off pretty easy. I think, you know what, first let's go over the tiers, okay? At the top we have succulent. This, this is, these are the best of the best. You know, there, there's... These are the ones that I would almost always choose in that generation. All right, below that we have dope. I really like these ones. They are not. They might not be my first pick, but I do like them. Beneath that we have not total ass. That means they're not great, but I don't hate them. Below that we have butt cheeks. These are not good. These ones are, are lacking quite a bit in the uh, favorability department by me. And the last one's AIDS. These suck. They're bad. They're just there's nothing redeemable about them whatsoever. Uh, and we're gonna start from Gen One and work our way back to Gen Eight. We're not doing Gen Nine because obviously we don't know what the fucking final starters look like. All right, it doesn't take Sherlock Holmes to figure that out. All right, so uh, let's just get straight into it. Charizard, dope. Yeah, I don't. P people like get mad because like they shove Charizard down our throats. But yet you still buy all the Charizard shit. You know what I mean? I can't buy a Charizard Ultra Premium Collection because everybody's buying them. All right? They're three hundred dollars. They retail for one twenty. Charizard shoved down our throat. Okay, then why does it cost me double to buy? I'm being the little piss baby. All right. Next up, we got this fat turtle bitch. I I don't like Blastoise. I never really have. He's not. He's not bad. I hate to still highlight that. I put him in not total ass. Because I just would never choose him. Like, they have War Turtle, which is actually pretty cool. He's got, like, the feathered ears and the cool tail. And then they just put some fucking cannons on his back and call it a day. It's just Squirtle with some fucking guns on it. He's just, it's a strapped Squirtle. Yeah. Uh, Venusaur, Thick Petal Boy. Gonna put it in dope. Uh, none of the Kanto starters, I feel like, are just out of the way amazing uh but they're pretty cool typhlosion i'm also gonna put in dope you know he's a honey badger i don't know why i always thought he was a bear but he's in the same gen as ursaring so it kind of makes sense that he's not a bear and you, you think that being a badger would take away from his likability but i actually think that's pretty fucking cool like badgers are pretty badass uh so yeah typhlosion i'm gonna put in dope uh <laughs> my fucking dude dude right here for alligator suck suck succulent dude i i love for alligator he's so dope he's definitely my first pick in johto that's my boy dude look at that mohawk dude with the scales like oh he's just cool i like him a lot uh and next we have meganium look at that big meaty neck dude i bet you like if you were to hunt a meganium i'm gonna put him in not total ass i do like meganium I just, it's just not my favorite from Johto. I think Chikorita, I, I don't know. It's just not bad. You know what I mean? Uh, Blaziken, succulent. I love Blaziken. That's my kicking chicken right there. Same with Swan. I'm going to make this real easy, dude. All of the Gen 3 starters are succulent. I just love them. Uh, the kicking chicken, the fucking axolotl thing. I don't know what it, you know, it's Swampert. I just don't know what it's based off of. I know it, it's kind of like an axolotl, but I don't know what the fuck it turns into at Swampert. And then Sceptile the goat. Sceptile, he, he's just the best. I fucking, I fucking love Sceptile. Just so cool, dude. Uh, next up, we got Fire Monkey. I put not total ass. That's going to be a hot take. I already know you guys are going to be coming for me when I after doing that dude i he's he's all right dude i don't know he's definitely the worst of the Sinnoh starters dude i just don't like him that much i know competitively he's like the fucking goat i don't i don't know dude empoleon amazing i love empoleon he's just i mean look at him he's the fucking he takes no shit dude he's so cool i like empoleon a lot Torterra is cool. I like him. This is how you do a turtle right here. You see this? Not this fat bitch right here. This right here. Look at the tree. Look at the thickness. Look at the round egg boy, dude. Look at those spikes. Mm. Look at the look at the little tail. Okay, he's got a little tail too. Anyways, this is a turtle done correctly right here. Amazing. 
Look at this chode. I don't like him. Butt cheeks. M -bor. I just don't like it. I don't like him. Ass. Samurott, another hot take. Samurott's dope. I like Samurott. I, I don't get why people don't like him. They're, you're constantly, you're constantly begging for a final starter evolution to remain on four feet. And this is why we don't fucking get it anymore. It's because the one time they put a starter evolution on four feet, you fucking piss your pants about it. All right. Samurott is cool. I, his tail is a little weird, but other than that, he's fucking sick, dude. I look at the, look at the mat. You know what? He's too masculine for y'all, dude. He's the fucking top G of the Pokemon world. Look at that beard. That looks sick. I love that, dude. And his little pointy hat. He has a pointy hat, dude. How do you not like that? Samrot's dope. I like Samrot. And this little fucking grass noodle. Mm, not ass. He's all right. I don't know. Oh, this is... I did not want to get to this point of the video. Because I can already hear the comments. I'm not a fucking furry. Because I like Delphox. All right? Delphox is succulent. And I wish I would have chosen another word for the top tier other than succulent. Because now it's like... It's like an innu innuendo now. All right? Delphox is cool. It's, it's a fire witch fox with like flames coming out the ears and stuff. It's just cool. I like it. I don't know why. It's my preferred cow starter by far. Uh, sorry, something on my phone distracted me. Uh, Greninja is dope. I don't know. I think Greninja gets way too much hype. I don't like his tongue, dude. You can tell he's well versed in the art of Gluck Gluck 9000 throat goat, dude. I don't know. I don't like the tongue. It's just flapping in the wind, dude. It's like a fucking scarf, dude. Imagine, imagine like heavy winds, dude. That thing's just like, you know, I don't know. I don't like it. Dude, this dude, why is he built like a fucking fridge, dude? Because Chespin is so cute and like, like cool and like, just like a little, you know, and this dude's built like a fucking Macy's fridge sale. Yeah. I don't. I need a drink. I don't like him. Chestnut's all right. He's not total ass, but he's just not great. Incineroar can fucking die, dude. I hate Incineroar. This is uh, this is just like it doesn't even make sense with its line. Like it just out of nowhere, it's like a fucking lucha libre, fucking look at the fire belt too. Like. Toracat and Litten were so they were they were perfect down to the last detail and then it gets up on two legs and turns into this fucking piece of shit I don't like Incineroar at all he's the worst I hate him every fiber of my being I hate him Primarina's butt cheeks ah mm, no, Primarina's alright not total ass I'm, I like the name of that tier that's describes it well ooh my fucking boy Decidueye here. I love Decidueye. I, you know, he's based on like, a, like an owl species that's extinct, and that's why it's a f grass ghost. I don't. I always forget that it's typing as grass ghost because looking at it, you think grass flying, but it's actually, you know, you know, you're a dumb bitch, grass ghost, because it's based on an extinct owl. But also, like the Robin Hood part of it too is just cool. I don't know. I like him a lot. He's cool. I like his Suian Decidueye even more with the fucking. You know what I'm saying? Just, he's fucking cool, dude. Cinderace's butt cheeks. It, um, if I could, if I went, if I was like Isekai, like teleported, reincarnated into the Pokemon world, and my starting Pokemon was fucking Inteleon, I would find the nearest Pokegun off myself, dude. I hate fucking Inteleon, dude. You know who he reminds me of is Randall from fucking Monsters, Inc. Look at this. He's just gross, dude. It just looks slimy and gross and just fucking. And then Rillaboom is butt cheeks. I don't like Pokemon that when they progress, they get items. You know what I mean? Because he doesn't have. So what happens to it? So he starts off with nothing, right? Then he picks up a fucking stick, dude. When he evolves, does he get the stick? Or does he just find a stick? Does every Thwacky just find a stick after they evolve? You know what I mean? And then after that, he pulls a fucking drum set out of his bunghole. And all of a sudden, he's like musically like themed that like, I don't fucking get it. Why would they musically theme a gorilla, a grass gorilla? They could, it could have been so cool instead. And also 
He's the he's the second grass gorilla or grass monkey in his own gen. Zarud, the fucking mythical. That really they couldn't think of another type of monkey other than the grass type. And then the, and then they get semi sage too. There's so many. It's the it's the unoriginality and just the, the you know the ass thing. That's why they had to give him a fucking music theme is to make him different from the other you know nine billion grass monkeys. Anyways, that's. Let me look over it really quick. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. These are in no particular order, by the way, other than Sceptile the Goat. He's, he's on top, always. Um. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Alright. Um. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Thank you. All right. I'll see you later. Bye.